your career potentials and new possibilities. Determine earning power and other benefits. Of course, uh, doing a job, one aspect is also a financial. You know, you need to get stronger with your financial ca capacity. At the same time, uh, benefit the company. The company will definitely give benefits based on your, if your job, what your, what the role that you're holding, so on, so that you will also get benefits. Meet potential colleagues and friends. You know, so when you are doing a, a job, why the interview is important. When you're, you know, you're going to select for a good job, then you will also meet potential colleagues and friends from the company, from the industry related to that company. So. That is also one aspect. Identify occupations that match your interest. So once you do that, you will find uh, which one is suits me. You know which one is the correct job for me, and uh, so on. That you can you can go through those paths. Evaluate your strengths and skills. So this is also one uh, measuring point that you can evaluate your strengths and skills. Develop your skills and experience. Also, while evaluating, also you can develop your skills and experience. Manage your career transition. Sometimes, you know, after this, you also can find, okay, I'm I'm going to, you know, transit. You know, I can transit. You know, I can find uh, different career levels. So you can manage it. One great interview can change your life. So therefore, it is important that you are going to face for an interview and this can also change your life so before the interview that there are certain things that you have to uh, remember there are certain things that you have to uh, find these are extremely important not you know take your uh, your, your his resume and photograph and go for the interview is not only that there's a lot of areas that you have to go through it to be successful research the company and job vacancy before you go for the interview you have to research the company that you have applied for and the job vacancy do a research about the company go if they have a website go to that website and find their 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 achievements their management who are the chairman and the, the directors and then find their locations, if they have any branch offices available, so on, do a research about that company. And then also the job vacancy that you have applied for. So, you know, so if you have applied for a, a, a job, do a research about that job, what is that job role, so that you are going to the interview with, with the background knowledge of your company and, and your job. Also, Research your interviewer. So interviewer is a person who conduct the interview. So do a little bit of research about him or her, so that you will be able, able to find about that person and his his knowledge and his years of experience, so that you know about him and you know how to handle that person and you know what are the likes and dislikes and you know find you know about do a little research about him. Prepare a set of questions. Uh, sometimes uh, some of you may have gone for an interview or some may not. During the interview, <clears throat> sometimes an uh, uh, interviewer may ask, do uh, you have any questions? So that you need to prepare your questions. And if you get panic at that time, if he says, sorry, I don't have any questions, I don't think that's the best answer. So therefore, you have to prepare a set of questions and in my next slides, I have given some, um, I have given some uh, examples of these questions so that you can write down those questions in, when you are going for an interview. You can be prepared and these are common questions to any company. Conduct a mock interview, you know, so before you go for the interview, if this is your first interview or second interview, Definitely, it's, it's, it's a good experience. It's a first first experience. So, uh, you know, get a friend or maybe a relative, go to a room and do a mock interview. You know, just just find yourself, uh, go through this, uh, you know, the sitting, your, your posture and, you know, all that thing, what we are going through it. Put that everything in your mind and sit down and do a mock interview so that you are prepared. You know, where, where how to handle 
print out physical copies of your resume and carry a recent photo. So take a, one or two copies of your of your resume, which you send to the company. Yeah, the resume has to be the same one that you sent to the company. Otherwise, it will, it will, it will you know, have a conflict. So have the same resume and take a recent photograph. Do not take any old photograph. It has to be a recent photograph. Eat a healthy meal before the interview. Sometimes these things may not, uh, you know, uh, we are not considering or maybe we don't know about this, the importance of that. Why we say eat a healthy meal before the interview is that sometime, you know, uh, with your allergy problem, with, with any issues related to your health, what if, you know, something happens next day morning that you won't be able to go for the interview, which is going to be a, a life changer, you know, an important event of your life. So therefore, it is also important that you, you have to give some attention to the food that you are having, a meal, uh, have a healthy meal before the interview. Clean and press your clothes. It's, it's important that you wear a clean and uh, a very nice cloth uh, that also regarding uh, the, the clothes that what to wear. In my next slides, I will go through in, in, in detail. Dress up for the role. So sometimes you are going for, for the interview as an engineer or, or different trades. So find identify the company that you're going for it and dress for that role. Sleep well the night before. It is also important to have a good sleep, at least eight hours sleep, so that next day morning, then you are fresh and you don't look tired and you can sit for the exam with the, the interview with, with, with great confidence. Prepare, prepare for different type of interviews. That means sometime uh, the interview will be held at uh, a warehouse or maybe at a, a boardroom. So, or different locations, different type of interviews. So, therefore, prepare in your mind that you are going for an interview. Do not worry about the location. Consider stories from your previous position. Uh, if you, uh, most of you may have not worked elsewhere as you are still stud uh, stud studying. Uh, but in case if you have worked, consider a story from your previous position, previous job. Uh, definitely this question will, will arise at the interview. Uh, they will ask you, tell us something about your past experience. If so, have a, have, have some uh, you know story that you, know, you work for this place and it's nice. I gathered good experience from this company, so on. So that prepare a story about your previous position. Be punctual. Arrive 10 to 15 minutes early. This is very, very important. I would say 10 to 15 minutes early to the company. It's not to the interview. Uh, the, uh, you know, when you when you reach go to a company, there first you have to go through a security checkpoint, and then uh, a receptionist, and maybe after that to the company secretary. So so there are three areas that you have to pass, and for that, therefore you have to at least between 10 to 15 minutes early reach the company and then prepare yourself when you go at the last minute then you will be get you know uh, stressed out and you don't know what areas to go through it and and tired and stressed out and so these all these things will 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 definitely will eradicate when you arrive 10 to 15 minutes early when you reach the uh, interview uh, not the board interview panel before that uh, there's a waiting area please turn your cell phone mobile phone this is very important. Grooming. It is uh, so. I'm I'm going through after this uh, the slide. I'm going through one by one some of the import areas in details. Groomings, do's and don'ts. So it's important that you have to think about your clothes and shoes. You don't need to wear new, brand new shoes or clothes, but whatever you are wearing, it has to be shine, clean shoes and a, a, a good set of clothes. Nails, these are general grooming to prepare your nails for all important handshakes. In the, due to the COVID, sometime you will have to say I bought or handshakes are not welcome these days, but still you are at the interview, they can see your nails. These, uh, you know, some of the companies, they, they, they check very carefully of your 
grooming, which is also important to be a successful, uh, you know, the, the, the event. That means the interview need to be successful with a lot of ingredients. It's not only the qualification. So there are a lot of ingredients will be, uh, you know, you need to have a very nice rice and curry. So likewise, so for you to have a very successful interview, there are things that you have to be successful in every part. It's not only in one area. Also, don't nibble your nails during the interview. It's common that you are nervous, you know, it's common, but you know that you should not do that. And then hair, do a pay a little extra attention to your hair. Make sure that this that you need comb and brush it away from your face and have a nice, you know, uh, hair. Skin care and uh, you do put your best face forward. Wash your face and gentle. I know for ladies, you know, uh, have a have a nice skincare and you know uh, go with the, you know you cannot go with you know you're tired and you know sweating. I don't think it's it's welcoming. And also don't use allergy products which can irritate to you know redness or any other things. So therefore, be careful these areas. Makeup do wear makeup that is light and professional. Don't choose old makeups which which can you know look uh, bad uh, and also personal scent to brush and flush your teeth to ensure you have a fresh breath uh, use a, a, a mouthwash like a you know a lister you know something you can find you can buy at your supermarkets shower and have a use deodorant to 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 get away from your body odors and uh, and also don't put heavy perfumes or colognes because some people are very sensitive to fragrance. So you risk irritating your interviewer. So therefore, use a light perfume. And if you smoke, please do not smoke before the interview. Also, don't chew gums or means during the interview. This is uh, just an example. Uh, in Sri Lanka, some of you may not wear the full suit, but this indicates that shirt has to be a, a solid color, a light color, a white shirt or light gray or, or, or something very light. Don't wear black, red or dark colors for the interview. Try use light colors. Then also when you are wearing a tie, it has to be a conservative pattern. Uh, it's not flashy, not very, you know, uh, colorful one, uh, which can suit your shirt. And again, shoes has to be dark shoes that match the pants. Try to wear a dark color, a dark black or a brown color shoes. And also the socks need to be uh, on par with your shoe color. So this is the, the best way because when you, when you, when you, when you sit down, sometimes people can see that for a, for a, for a black, uh, shoe, if you are wearing uh, white color socks, it's not. During school time, yes, we were wearing, but now when you're professional, when you're going for an interview, it has to be something similar colors, uh, ash color or, or brown or, or black color. For ladies, again, it has to be solid colors, preferably white color, uh, light colors. Uh, long sleeve would be nice. And jewelries, it has to be very, very charming jewelries. And again, uh, shoes has to be a black or brown color would be nice. Not too flashy, not too reddish colors. Uh, the interview has to be very, very simple and charming uniform. Few important points that I will go through it. Uh, time is very limited and important. The interviewer is a busy person in the company. He may be a director or HR manager, human resources manager or a chairman. So maybe a company chairman or managing director will also be present at the interview. So when you get a chance to talk about yourself, they will tell us, okay, so tell us about yourself. Spend maximum of one to one and a half minutes, not more than two minutes, definitely. Because they may have some other interviews to conduct. or Also, they may have some other important agendas on that day. So therefore, uh, they don't expect more than one and a half, two minutes for yourself. The overall interview maximum 10 minutes uh, it depends on the, the, the role or if it, the interview is very important, interesting for them, they will keep dragging. But therefore the general time is about five, eight, 10 minutes maximum the interview. And for that you will get 
for yourself. Talk about yourself one to one and a half minutes yourself. Yourself have to be very brief about your family, what you do, where are you from, and your 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 achievements of and, uh, and your hobby and what you have done for the society, uh, sustainable things and uh, corporate social responsibilities of what you have done. This is also very important nowadays. People people are more, talk more about sustainable development program, what I have done to the society, to the people, uh, these things also definitely, uh, uh, you know, a lot and uh, and then your achievements, so on. And uh, also your file, uh, because uh, they may ask your file to see that they want to see your file. There is a, there's an order you have to arrange the file. Uh, otherwise, they will think that you are disorganized. So these are also like I said, ingredients, these are all ingredients, you know, so arrange your file. First, you put your resume, covering letter, and a reason color photograph. Then your talents about your work experience, about certificate of excellence and performance. And then the fourth part can be your educational certificates from the school or from the university. But more, more important that first few uh, pages are your, your work experience and certificate of excellent performance. So, so the, the interviewer will go through it faster of checking your the, the your certificate so that they can he or she can see your 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 your, your certificates. Then you can go to your academic certificates like any IT or any other uh, outside the school if you have taken any certificates. If you speak any other languages Definitely, it's, it's, an, it's an added advantage nowadays, uh, whatever industry that you are going for, if you speak any other languages other than Sinhala, English or Tamil, any other languages is going to be an added advantage. Uh, and then, uh, like I said earlier, sustainable development contribution to the society, any CSR activities if you have done, then the eighth point you can go for sports. So this is the order that you have to keep your file arranged. Carry a pen or a pay or a notepad with you because in case if there's any important points to jog down, you know, you don't find uh, inside the bag or, you know, don't try to take from the bag, just keep it on the table, carry a pen and a notepad so that they know that you are an organized person. You are well, well, well organized person. And then you know, in case if you need, you know, something to write down, just write down so that they will they will notice that you are a person that you write down things. So this is your organized things and you know, so you are a methodical person. These are all ingredients, I would say. Then carry one item only. The combination of bags makes you seem very disorganized. Uh, let's say some of you may come from uh, out of Colombo for the interview in Colombo or oh, you are going, you know, so uh, Sometimes you carry your bag and when you're, you're coming from your, your home, you will also have a couple of other bags. But if you're going to carry all these bags to the meeting room, we'll, we'll, we'll have a bad impression about you. So what you have to do is, we will have to find solution for that. What you have to do is that, you know, at the interview, there's a waiting room, there's a receptionist, or there's a security. So talk to them, say that you are going for this interview, May I keep this bag and then carry only one bag, which is most important for you. Carry only one bag. So preferred posture and tone of voice for an interview, which is very important. Uh, uh, first impressions. Many recruiters get the first impression within the first 15 minutes, first 15 seconds, I'm sorry, about you. During the first 15 seconds about you. They will judge how you are entering the room. They will judge how you are going to sit. They will judge how you greet. All that takes 15 to 20 seconds. And they will judge about you within this period. This is very, very crucial. This 15 to 20 seconds. Be seated. When you sit down, do sit up straight with your back against the backrest. And lean forward about 10 degrees. Don't bend. Just straight. You know, your legs should be straight down with your feet aligned squarely with your shoulders. I will show you some, some, some photos, photographs 
in my next slides of how the how the the correct postures cross your hands over your thighs unless you have a pen and a notepad tone the tone of your voice can tell recruiters that you are lack of confidence or even denot lying it can also tell them that you are confident without being cocky a high pitch in response to a straightforward question indicates a lack of confidence that means if someone you know if you are if you are giving your answer very high pitch it can say that you are lack of confidence that's why you are screaming watch your recruiter as closely as he is also watching you you know every every minute that you are talking someone will watch you so therefore you watch the recruiter how he handle things and also the 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 tone of your recruiter interview follow the same tone don't go above it can be can be uh, you know uh, like you are giving an you know uh, authority so therefore also don't go lower go on the middle tone with the same as your interviewer so that is the best so that he also will understand you are going on the same line same panel of the the tone don't touch your face during interview don't touch your hair don't purse your lips or smile nervously be confident you know be relaxed that's the most important thing at the interview feel that you are going for the interview you are not going to you know police station to give some evidence or something or statement you are just going to for the interview to to build up your career and you are in front of you know professionals relax first of all relax it's very important that you feel relax be yourself don't act artificial be yourself this is me and be very positive about everything what you discuss after 48 hours 90% of conversations is forgotten this is a human nature what is remembered is a impression made and your voice speech habits will influence a person perception about you meanwhile it's also important to read the interviewer's body languages because we you know these are the warning signs to watch out so that you now that now you know about the body language you know about the grooming and also it's important that for you to understand to know about your interviewer's body language so that by that you can fix things like for example cross arms or leaning away indicates discomfort at their personal space so create more space between yourself fiddling and loss of eye contact indicates loss of interest that means he has given up so what you have to do is wrap up what you are saying and get the attention with a good question you know do an ice breaker you know uh, you know find something and this uh, ask a good question so that again keep uh, the, his attention flowing or pursing lips indicates disagreement or confusion ask they ask if they need further clarification or more then the fourth point is raising eyebrows or widening eyes indicates surprise you are you, you or, or disbelief uh, or or disbelief back up what you say with facts and figures and then the drumming fingers and crossing and uncrossing legs indicates impatience and frustration so check you are providing the info they are looking for so watch out these five signs so that you know that you can judge how the interviewer whether if he is tired or, or he has given up the interview so you need to find a way of how to keep again his attention first impression is based on 7% spoken words 38% tone of your voice the voice the and your 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 same level of voice as the interviewer i explained to you in my previous slide so 38% and 55% on body language so body sign body language is the 55% is important the first impression the first impression i mentioned in my first slides 15 to 20 minutes uh, 20 seconds is the first impression so you have to build this uh, first impression within this 15 to 20 seconds which can 
which can score 55 percent body language what to do with your hands during your interview so on the on the first uh, the two uh, arrows the green color that's these are the correct signs show your palms it's it's fine that when you are when you are discussing something don't keep it only you know tight you know show your palms and you know palms mean that you are sincerity that mean you are you're sincere you show your palms press your fingertips together on the second second one that display of confidence of you exhibit so and then the the third one on the on the, on the top right do not hold your palms down this is a sign of dominance and you should be careful you know so don't keep your palms down and then the other there are other three also do not conceal your hands don't put inside the hands that's something that it shows that you are hiding something do not tap your fingers you know that means impatience that you are you are not you are not there you know so you at and do not cross your arms do the crossing is like your defensive posture so it's it's, it's that means when at the interview if you are going to sit like that the, the interviewer will will definitely will see that he's defensive and it's so the most 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 appropriate advisable postures are on the on the left two sides which i have you know indicated in green color show your palms which shows your sincerity press your fingertips together which shows that you have your your confidence then this is the pr proper sitting posture uh, you know on the on the first three on the left these these are not advisable these are not good uh, uh, interviewer will get an impression about you about how you sit down how you you know how you handle things proper sitting posture is number d that's a correct sitting posture also there are four things to do while you wait for your interview while you wait there are there are certain things you have to remember because your interview starts the moment you enter the company it's not only the interview room or, or panel room you know, your interview starts the moment you enter that means there's a receptionist or maybe company secretary they will judge you you know because they are they are, we are going to recruit some people to our company obviously they are keen to know who is coming for the interviews so therefore gather some information talk to them hello good afternoon good morning yes how would you describe the you know, work environment uh, you know how are you today have a little chat with them don't have a gap with them so then they remember you very well you know adapt the confident of body language you know so you know have 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 confidence with you and turn off your again it's very important to switch off your mobile phone so these four things also important while you wait for your interview see the the photograph and these three photograph on to your left hand side for second third are not advisable you know when you are waiting for the interview so i'm going through you know the sweekers uh, the part by part first you had to you know things to remember and grooming and what how to you know wear what are the things that you had to wear the dress code and then uh, you know uh, uh, you know finding uh, different uh, uh, characters of your interviewer and now while you are waiting how you have to sit down you know this is the correct posture that you sit down while you are waiting at the interview also during the interview there are five shoni speech habits sometimes we have to remember to avoid these things number one this meaningless fillers like um you know like you know these things definitely will not give a good impression about you or slow words like kind of sort of make you appear unprofessional kind of or sort of so don't use these type of words also also some of the words like hate you know these things you know sometimes when you are talking with a friend you cannot use the same vocabulary with uh, you know at the interview panel so they are professionals they are looking at you know uh, recruiting some good people educated people right people for that job so therefore using words like hate or you know uh, freaking you know my bad words dude these things are not there for the interview 
at least for with your friends and you know with, with your friends also some of the words like perhaps maybe hopefully you know these words not give any confidence about them. so therefore if you are giving something yes or no these are straightforward answers so don't use the perhaps maybe hopefully you know that so the interview is getting uh, you know half answered uh, from you you know he is a little puzzled about that thing you know if he ask something uh, if you say perhaps that means the, he's not getting the correct answer 100% so he's 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 little lost so then he will think about it what is the correct answer or maybe you know hopefully these are half meaning answers just these are not correct answers at the interview so now we are at the interview so it is always valuable to use the interview's name this is the start of building a good rapport uh, find the name from you know you are you, are, you, you have been waiting at the you know waiting room or, or or you did a research about the interview you know find the name of that person or oh, right and then greet him by using his name good afternoon mr pereira you know this this is like you know he, his eyes will definitely go up and because he is no how how this person knows my name he may had about another four five you know interviews but they said good afternoon but now you are say good afternoon mr pereira and then that's the first impression and then first impression is walk be confident not cocky maintain eye contact and smile so this is the first impression that you are grabbing you know his eyes so you say good afternoon mr pereira and when you say good afternoon maintain eye contact look at his eyes or her eyes and smile you know this is you don't this is this is there's no cost this is not cost involved it's just freely available at you in your character so use those words good afternoon mr pereira smile keep an eye contact which is extremely important and that person knows here you know this is the one good candidate for us into the interview room with a greeting so greetings can vary according to the timings so for example good morning generally the interview is starting between 10 uh, 8 o'clock onwards till uh, 11:59 we are at good morning level so say good morning anything after 12 mid 12 noon till 4:29 is still we are at good afternoon and then from 16:30 onwards is good evening so therefore it is important that you know these three levels of your daytime greetings enter the good like i said i told you good morning so it, it can be from 8:30 till 12 to 12 noon just say it's easy to remember good morning and then after that good afternoon and after 16:30 4:30 pm is good evening so when you say good evening at 4:30 or 4:35 the interviewer knows ah this person knows these levels which is also another ingredient for your success wait for the interviewer to give you the signal to sit down either a hand gesture maybe he will use the hand say sit down or when he or she sit down themselves after that you can sit down don't immediately without their sign without before they sit down please do not sit down this is you are gone basically you know 50% of your marks gone because these are all ethics keep your hands and legs properly like i explained earlier keep your body at the right posture as you know shown in the in the previous uh, the photograph leave your file by your side the file that we mentioned about keep it by your side when they ask only turn around and show to that side if there's no space to keep your bag you were carrying one bag leave it beside your legs do not keep on the table do not hang it in your chair just leave it beside your legs don't jump wait until the panel starts the conversation you know when you sit down and you greeted you sit down now you wait don't jump just wait until the panel starts a conversation then they will ask yes hello good morning how are you yeah so yes i'm fine thank you this is you know i'm fine thank you 
uh, when when you when someone asks how are you yes i'm fine thank you and you, at the same time you can ask how are you sir you know so ask have a conversation starts and then give short answers and answer to the question only you know don't uh, when you say how are you uh, today is a rainy day you know i mean these things don't grab they they don't like it they just like short answers how are you i'm fine sir how are you fine that's it and then you can start the conversation but don't give long answers give only short answers use your pitch and pace middle i explained to you earlier use your pitch and pace middle don't have high don't have too low go on the middle avoid negative statements don't talk negative about your previous employer in case if you have worked because that gives you a very bad impression because he or she knows that when you are going to another company you will talk about bad on us and also it's it's a bad uh, habit so therefore in case if you ask a somewhat negative question always portray yourself in a very positive light that means in case you say that i heard about that company you know has some bad uh, you know uh, recruiting and they don't pay salaries you can say you can portray yourself in a positive light say yes i also heard about sir but i have not experienced something like that keep faith keep positive sign of it too they must be you know want to get your inside character by by giving this kind of a, you know uh, 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 carrot don't do that don't get caught to that just say stay positive it's very important that you stay positive money uh, wait until at the end all all or at least until a question is raised by the interviewer don't jump the gun and ask uh, sir may i know how much i get this is bad wait until wait until this question will definitely if you are selected if you are going through the going through the next uh, line that means if you have passed all at the they are most uh, required areas then they will discuss about the salary about the how much the remuneration so wait until they ask or wait until at the end don't mention whatever you offer i am ready to start this is very bad you know i have i have had so many uh, when i was in dubai i used to interview a lot of multinational uh, people from different part of the world Uh, you know from different countries you know there are 187 countries work in dubai so i met lot of uh, multinational and the way they handle things is different so therefore i have seen some of the thing when i when i ask so tell us about uh, about your expectation i came across lot of said that whatever you offer i'm ready to start i don't want i don't want people like that i don't want to people i don't want to recruit for that caliber we need people who has who has some uh, target who has some expectation you know you know we don't want people to recruit just for sake of recruiting we need talented people so therefore don't say that in case if they ask give a salary expectation you had something in your mind you did a research about your job you already did a research about the company so you know how has so you don't have you got some idea about the job and uh, salary expectation yes say that and then wait Uh, you know wait to hear the employees feedback then you will hear whether it's a, it's a high expectation or it's low or whether it's, it's it's on par with their expectations it is fine but don't give whatever you offer i'm ready to start go don't go to that level at the end of the interview you can thank the panel smile and adjust your chair back close the room before you leave and if available for example you met a secretary or maybe a company secretary just say thank you know we are on your way out sometime uh, during the covid uh, this uh, the covid uh, environment you may have to go to go through a virtual interview so it is important that i touch few lines about virtual interview in case if you go for that there are few tips would i would like to share with you wipe your face clean and hydrate yourself prior to the interview because you are just going to sit in front of a, 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 a laptop or the computer a person can see you that is the only the first impression the person can see from you is he or she you know at least pleasant not tired not sweaty you know wipe your face and make sure that you are ready 
monitor your body language. It is important. It's again like physical interview or virtual. The your body language is extremely important. They can see you. They can you know, they can see that how you handle your 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 hands and your your body, your posture. Keep it keep it like at a, like I gave you examples. You know, straight, no bending. You know, keep it straight and with a smile on your face. Avoid using words such as "Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello." If the connection becomes unstable, we have I, I, we we come across a lot of people go to these common words. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. If the connection becomes unstable, don't do that. Don't come to that panic situation. That 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 you know becomes you are disorganized. You don't know how to handle virtual. Just stay calm. The these IT IT situations sometimes we hear very often when in when in very important event. IT comfort it's not working so likewise uh, you know in case if the connection becomes unstable stay calm until the connection come to the normal situation and they say that sorry had a connection issue sir yes that's that's fine minimize distractions make sure you don't speak to people around you during the interview or when you are doing a virtual interview you will find you know people walking in front of you laughing at you or maybe you know this is or oh, at least a closed room ideal minimize your distractions because the person the interviewer can see you you know your, your attention is everywhere not to the not to the camera so the camera is the eye you know that's where you keep the eye contact that the camera of your of your of your computer is the eye keep it straight away with your the camera eye don't distract yourself focus on the camera and the screen like i mentioned yes yes the screen and the camera mainly the camera and look at the screen time to time so that in case if you want to read something if you are talking talk to the camera match the interview tone don't speak too loud no too soft again the early i mentioned when you are at the interview match the interviewer's tone go on the same level don't go too loud don't go too soft Go on the same tone. Don't jump and speak over your interviewer. Wait him or her to finish the sentence or question before answering. We have a habit of some people; they are in, in you know, they are they they don't know. Sometimes they in they they disturb while someone is talking. It's it's very bad manners. And uh, so so wait until the person finish his his, his question, then. Think and answer. Sometimes, if you are going to answer halfway through, you may have not finished the question. So therefore, it is important that you wait until that person finish the uh, the question, and you can answer. As time may be limited, stick to the point. Keep it short but precise. Again, virtual interviews are, are, are times are limited. Stick to the point and keep it short. Uh, again, you have to check your 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 before you start the interview. Check the, the connection, proper connection. Do a test running. You know, just see whether it's working properly. Uh, you know, do a screen sharing and see whether the screen is working properly. Sounds are working, and you know, do all these things. You know, beforehand. These are the questions from you to the company. In my first uh, slide, I mentioned to you sometime interviewer. May I ask you questions from you. Uh, so this also will be important for you to know. These are generic questions that that the, the interviewer will ask. So tell us uh, whether do you have any questions from you know any questions. So you can ask these things. What is the company culture like? Is there any opportunity for growth in this role? Do you measure employees' performances? You know they sometimes they do performance basis. what is the most challenging aspect of this position what do you enjoy most about working with this company so there are few questions that you can ask ask you will come across during the interview most of the time 90% of the time uh, interviewer may ask you know uh, uh, give you an opportunity to ask a question and keep ready something like that or if you have any other questions keep it ready for yourself you know so that you can answer so you don't need to panic you have everything you have done a homework properly and you can ask these questions these are these are generic question and then your answers to the company if you are unable for example in case if they ask a question 
regarding a salary or regarding a starting date uh, that you can in case if you are unable to answer at that time because you may have to get your consent or maybe advice from your relatives or friends or parents tell that you will get back with the date but ideally you need to decide at the interview itself so that in case if they ask salary or starting date you need to have this ready with you let's say if you are going for an interview on the 1st of may if they say that uh, we would like to have you on board on 1st of june so you need to have this you need to have you need to do a homework of see in case if they ask me to join on the 1st of june or 15th of may am i okay so keep ready everything you know so this 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 comes if you have gone through the interview if you have already done 90% of uh, your interview with success they will ask you would you like uh, we would like to have a starting date or uh, salary so these things keep it ready with you, you know so that you don't get panic and you will answer post interview so after the interview some of uh, i think most of you are not doing anything related to these areas sending a thanking note you know i mean i don't know uh, i think i have about 10% of my total in interviews what i have conducted about 10% of them received a thanking note i received only from 10% uh just or correct any mistakes made during the interview if any through an official email uh like on the first note i mean i received this 10% and i i really go through their points and i uh, put those 10% into a separate folder in case if I have further uh, vacancies that I would definitely give uh, a priority for them because this is something unique, uh, you know, someone thanking, sending a thanking note uh, after the interview. And just your correct any mistakes. Sometimes we may have done any mistakes or anything. Follow it up, you know, send an email saying um, I apologize and I would like to correct the following and send an official email if, if there's any mistakes. Don't share your interview details to social media. You know, it's a habit of, you know, we go through Facebook or Instagram and, you know, I had an interview, so on, so on. Don't do that. It has to be confidential. That is your career. You can share with your friends, you know, you can say that I had an interview, but don't go and, you know, engage with social media about your interview. Do not contact the interview or any panel by WhatsApp or social media unless you know them personally. Always, if you need to contact them, use an email or a phone call. So now, uh, going all these uh, slides, you know, maybe at nutshell, maybe I would like to show a small video which can show you and uh, you know that how uh, this person is going for the interview waiting room he's you know the, she's going to meet the waiting room uh, there's there's one secretary she's talking to him the way he she's uh, conducting herself and then she's entering to the uh, interview room and you know how she's talking her posture eye contact everything have a look at this and then after that we will go to the question q a session I believe the most crucial part of the job search, an interview can make or break an opportunity. So to help you really prepare, we're going to dissect and analyze an entire sprinkling in a mix and how to answer common questions, like when exactly does the interview start? How do you deal with nerves and how soon can you follow up? For years, athletes have used science and data analysis to improve. Now, we are doing the same for job seekers everywhere. This is Job Science. The 
Meet Aya, a recent grad majoring in business administration. She's interviewing for an entry-level project management position. Note her posture, head up, shoulders pulled back, no slouching and no laid backness. The interview begins the minute you walk into the building. Anya treats everyone in the office with respect while keeping eye contact. From security personnel to receptionists, anyone you run into on your way in could be asked to give feedback on you. It's normal to be nervous. When nerves kick in, the natural human response is to take short breaths and breathe faster. Stay calm by taking a deep breath before entering. Hold it, count to three, and then slowly breathe out. Pause. First, it's those introductions. Greet everyone in a way that is authentic to you, like, hey, nice to meet you, and then say their name. That one always works. You know, you're more likely to remember their name if you say it out loud when you first meet. A lot of the time, small talk comes up before any questions. It's good to have a few current events or topics in mind. You can't possibly predict what they're going to ask, but you can practice answering the common ones, like, why do you want to work here? What makes you unique? Let's see what our interviewer asks. So I want to hear more. Tell me a little about your experience and what you bring to this role. Pause. When this is asked, they're looking to learn what makes you stand out. Be honest with your answers. That means having to pause and think for a second. Then it's all right. Think about your past experiences and how the role lines up with your future goals. It never hurts to be honest. Great question. Ever since I was young, I've always been the organized one in my family. Whether it was helping my parents schedule vacations or color coordinating my closet, naturally that lifestyle got me here, project management. I've been a people person for as long as I can remember. Plain and simple, I love team building and making sure everyone has a part. Just the other month. Oh, just really quick. Don't speak negatively about previous places you've worked. Instead, talk about what you've learned. I helped lead a team of five to deliver a three-week sales project a few days ahead of schedule. I'd love to bring these things here. Perfect. A response like this not only answers the question, but also shows off her personality. But remember, there's no one right way to interview and answer questions. Be yourself and let your personality shine. Be aware of your movements. Practice polite, confident body language. Subtly miming your interviewer's posture can actually create a sense of connection. Of all places, unnecessary movements are hard to ignore in an interview. Whether it's tapping your fingers or bouncing your leg, be aware and stay present. Hey, it's been great chatting so far. I guess my last question is, do you have any questions for me? Ooh, this is a hot one. Make sure to have a short list of questions for your employer in your back pocket. Ask the questions you would if you got the job. If tomorrow was your first day, what would you want to know from the manager? Even if you don't have any burning questions, asking a few shows that you did your homework and that you really care. Some include, what do you like best about working here? What are some mistakes people have made in this position? What is a goal you're currently working toward? How will my performance be evaluated? Well, I did read that you're expanding your software team next quarter. I'm curious how you plan to carry that out. The interview isn't actually over. Always follow up within 24 hours with a thank you email to the hiring manager. This can be a quick note simply thanking them for their time or a longer one that elaborates on some of the things you talked about. It's key to leaving a lasting impression. This was the breakdown of an interview. Till next time. All right. So uh, now it's, it's, it's time uh, for us to have a little uh, Q&A session. Uh, so, Sarah, I think I leave it to you in case if you have received any uh, questions. I yes. definitely have uh, to. Thank you, sir. It was a wonderful session, and we thoroughly enjoyed every part of it. I'm sure all your advice would help us here for future challenge as well as for the next stages of our careers. So now we will move on to the Q and A session of the uh, of today's meeting. Uh, we have received a few questions from the audience, uh, so I will direct them to you now, Mr. Kubra. Yes, please. Uh, the first question says, do we have to take all certificates we have from school, from school time till the time where we face an interview with us in a file? 
good question. Actually, you don't need to carry all your certificates. Uh, yeah, the important ones uh, could be O level, A level certificate, and then uh, you will get a leaving certificate. Uh, and then, if you have any 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 best performance uh, areas during uh, your school career, any any achievements, anything carry those ones. Sometimes, you know, people carry a lot of uh, certificates like, uh, you know, uh, year-end certificates and uh, uh, there are so many certificates that you, you know, one that can carry, but take only the import ones like all level A levels and any achievements, uh, any, you know, achieve. and then after that, if you have done any other achievements like extracurricular activities, academy, yes, you may, but the important certificates is only required because uh, we don't have to go through, we don't have, we have very limited time during the interview. So we don't have to go through all that. And if you see a lot of certificates are not important to the relevant job, not important to us, uh, it's you're wasting time. And sometimes they will just give up uh, of going through the file. So therefore, it is important that I have uh, I have explained a sequence of what are the the, the certificates and, and, and areas to file. Accordingly, you can keep those things, not too much. Yes, I, I hope I have given my answer. Thank you for your valuable advice, sir. And uh, I want to take this as an opportunity to ask all of you who are present here to fill out the participation form so that we could record your participation at the event. And uh, now we will move on to the next question, which reads, if you are not comfortable with English, is it okay to ask the interviewer to speak in the mother tongue, that is Sinhala or Tamil? Yes, uh, we 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 uh, we had we had these issues uh, because it's sometimes when you are going for an interview, based on the the role that you are going, you know the position. If it is a multinational company, it is important that you conduct the interview in English. If it is multinational, if it is something a local company. Uh, English is definitely uh, an important uh, subject uh, language, but if you are not comfortable, yes, you can say that I am not comfortable. May I can may I uh, continue in, in Sinhalese or, or Tamil? In that person can understand. Yes, yes, you may do so. Why not? Because uh, we have, you have to you have to be honest at the interview. You know you don't need to uh, mess up the interview by by talking. Uh, you know, broken English is fine. We all, uh, we are not, uh, we are, this is not our mother tongue. You know, we, we are Sinhalese, uh, we are Sri Lankans, and therefore we don't need to be, be very fluent in English. Yes, a basic good English can conduct an interview, which is, which is sufficient. But even if you are unable to do that, you may do that in, in, in Sinhalese or Tamil. Definitely, why not? And that person will appreciate because... I have come across uh, some of some people. Uh, they they try hard to uh, continue the interview in English, but sometimes they cannot express themselves because this is the problem of not uh, not fluent in the language. That means a person get nervous, ex, uh, you know. Then he he get demotivated by himself. So if you know, I can express myself. I can I can tell what I want to tell in my own language. And that interview will be successful. And then interviewer will be very appreciated that he became very honest with me. And so I appreciate it. It depends on the interviewer to, to select that person or not. But the interview the interviewer will appreciate that. So therefore, if you are not, uh, you know, if you are not comfortable, yes, you may do so. Why not? Thank you for those inspiring words, sir. And with that, we'll move on to the next question. It says, what to say when asked by the interviewer to tell about ourselves? What should be included in the introduction? Introduction. Introduction is first you have to tell about your name and about your, you know, age. And, you know, you just, I'm, I'm so and so and so many years. And then uh, you can say that uh, a little bit about your, your family background because they need to know about you because why we ask about the family background for example me i am from the tourism industry and let's say if uh, if uh, father or mother or any siblings are working in the industry it's interesting for me to know that this is one reason that you have to just you know touch about your family background yes uh, my my father is a teacher my ma mother is a teacher and i have two brothers they are working for so and so tuck finish and then you can with your with your studies with your achievements you know studied at this college and i uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm a sportsman. I played so and so. And about your achievement of your school time, O levels and A levels, any any specific achievements, and then uh, university. You know, if you have done anything socially, like you know, anything sustainable, anything uh, CSR, corporate social responsibilities. If you have done something, uh, which is very appealing uh, during the interview, that we 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 highly appreciate these things. You know, sustainable development, corporate social responsibility. These are new words. but even during our grandmothers grandfathers time uh, we they had these things they used to help people but now with the, with the new world these things this has evolved with new names called sustainable development uh, so corporate social responsibility these are new terms so we have to use these new terms uh, what well, you may have done it i'm sure you know once once a year we go to a temple or we go to a you know a elderly place where we do, we do some dan Why not? These are all so corporate social responsibility. We are we are doing something for elderly people, but these terms have come to you know more modified names. Therefore, it would be nice that the interview also touch a little bit of what you have done to the society. You know, so first about your name, about your age and your family background, and um, about your uh, school time, uh, your achievements. and then after that uh, university and any extra curricular activities if any any languages then about something to the society this is the sequence and it, this is nice keep one to one and a half minutes max two minutes one and a half minutes would be nice and uh, this is how you have to uh, place your the your story about yourself thank you for that descriptive answer i'm sure it answer the question that the audience had Uh, yeah. The next question is: After finishing an interview, should we leave right away, or thank and leave after a while? Yeah, after the interview, uh, uh, the interviewer will 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 indicate when the interview is done. So they will say that, "Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Subasinga, for the for this thing, and we really enjoyed the, the interview." And uh, we will let you know by email or by phone call about our our our, our answer. Uh, our feedback and uh, after that we will be in touch and thank you yes then you can say thank you very much mr pereira it was very nice meeting you and i wish you a good day and uh, i explained to you about how to things and keep your chair back and smile and wish them with it to say good night and uh, good afternoon uh, when you are leaving before 6:30 uh, 4:30 pm if it is after 4:30 if you are leaving say good night and uh, wish you all the best and just uh, yes but wait until they conclude the meeting and say that we will let you know our answer the final wordings are like that we will let you know our, uh, our answer to you you know we will get back to you uh, if you have been selected we will let you know uh, by by email or one of our team members will contact you wait for this message after that you can conclude saying thank you very much greet and leave the room With that, we have come to the last question that we are going to answer in the Q and A session, yeah. which is, how do we get back on track after making a mistake in the interview? Uh, after making, after making the in, uh, if are you referring about this particular interview or the next interview? Yes, I think he means about uh, while doing the interview, he faces a question, like there's a mistake. And yeah. uh, he wants to know how to get back on track after the yeah. interview. It's it's always uh, always it's nice uh, to be humble and be honest. Be yourself. You can say that. Uh, excuse me. Uh, may I may I just take one one minute of your time? Say that uh, during this uh, discussion, I mentioned something about that. Uh, I I need to apologize about that. The correct version is this, and I made a mistake. And this is the correct in uh, this thing. And you can always you can always. Uh, be yourself and be apologize and be honest. Uh, it's it's always uh, not good to carry a wrong message. And you know, sometimes if you get selected, that person will definitely will remember that message. So therefore, it is always good to correct about the mistake what you have done and apologize it, and so that they know that this is the correct version. For example, um, I will I will give you example like for a uh, you are saying that. Uh, Uh, my 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 father is a teacher uh, or maybe by mistake you say that i have two siblings and one sibling is an engineer one one person is a doctor you know, just to impress uh, 
this is a very big mistake you know but uh, still you can you can correct it i made a mistake uh, i made a mistake or maybe about your educational things or maybe uh, some of your achievements if you have made a mistake by mistakenly if you say something correct it take it back and say that i made a mistake and i'm i'm sorry about this thing you know uh, but about your father's uh, profession or brother's profession if you if you say so which is something bad then i don't think you can take it back but uh, for example like your your career your 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 experience and your achievements if you say something wrong uh, you can you can go back always apologize and correct it which is a human quality we appreciate it which which happens or most of sometimes which happens people uh, go back and say that i made a mistake and uh, let me correct it which 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 is fine which is fine but uh, make sure before you talk you need to talk uh, we have we have given the guideline of areas of what you need to do be honest be yourself so therefore these are these are very important that uh, to to remember these areas uh, so sir thank you very much for that exemplary answer sir and that brings us to the end of the qna session i hope almost all the doubts that the audience had today were cleared during the session on an ending note do you have any other additional advice for current undergraduates and graduates who are hoping to step out to the job market yeah uh, yes so sir what the, the i i need to give one advice uh, these days uh, there are a lot of uh, job opportunities in the market uh, there are uh, you know when you when you pass out from the university uh, there are a lot of opportunities you will get it but before that you need to decide your path uh, which which area that i need to select what is the best way uh, you know what is the most uh, interesting uh area which i need to select what is what is my passion you know so you you have a character inside your body you need to identify you uh, understand identify your your passion which one which is my uh not for the sake of going for a job do not do not decide a, a area or industry or job for the sake of doing something it will not benefit you so therefore my advice is that first identify yourself this is me this is my talent this is my ability and and find a job research a company through you know with that less you know uh, 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 apparel company or uh, engineering or multinational company or bank or anything which is which is interest you need to have a personal satisfaction when you do that job you need to satisfy yourself you know you need to have a, a confident and and i need to satisfy when you wake up in the morning when you when you go to the job you need to have some sort of satisfaction that i am going for this job i love you know i love to go there i mingle with my team i love my job but if you go for a job that which you don't like it i don't think you'll be able to you know enjoy it uh, you will not be successful so therefore my advice is uh, for everyone find the path identify yourself this is me this is my best uh, area it can be multiple one two three areas find the job with that and then attack and that's that's the best way that's the most effective way and then you will be successful that's that's thank my uh, my kind advice to everyone thank you so much for your valuable advice and for those inspiring words with that we have arrived at the end of today's session which also marks the end of workstat 2021 We hope you gained a lot of knowledge from our workshop series. And turning back to our speaker, dear sir, it was a great pleasure as well as a privilege to have you on board with us. Thank you so much for giving us your valuable time and sharing with us your experience and words of wisdom. We learned a lot from you today, and I would like to express our gratitude on behalf of the Rotaract Club of the Faculty of Science, University of Colombo. and all the participants who have joined with us here today we wish you all the best with your future endeavors thank you very much sir and uh, the rod track club team and i wish everyone success thank you thank you very much lastly this wouldn't be possible without the team of future challenge and all the members of the rod track club of the faculty of science university of colombo kudos to you for a job well done and a big thank you goes out to all the participants we hope you gain a lot of knowledge from today's session and all of works that 2021 
We hope to see you on the 19th and 20th of this month at Future Challenge 2021. Thank you, everyone. Till then, stay safe.